Hello, this is Mrs Smith here. I'm going to do the times table counting stick challenge for today. And um, we're going to be looking at multiples of nine. So we're going to look at the nine times table. So we're going to start with zero. You can count with me as we put the multiples on the counting stick. Zero, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. So we're going to be looking at the nine times table today. Have a look at those multiples of a nine. What do you notice? Can you see a pattern? Pause the video, think about it, and then we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, what did you notice? Did you notice that it starts with zero, there's no tens, and then you've got, you've got nine, then you've got one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens, and so on, up to nine tens at the end there. And then the ones, you've got, uh, you've got nine, then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then finish with zero there. Did you notice that pattern? Did you also spot that the numbers, if you add them up, if you add the digits up in each, in each multiple, they also equal nine. That's really helpful because if you wanted to work out a larger calculation, say, if you wanted to look at 1062, was it divisible by nine? You would know instantly if you added the digits up and you realise that the digits added to nine, then you know that it is going to be able to be divisible by nine. So 1062, I have one and six and two, does equal nine, so it can be divided by nine. It's quite a good trick to remember. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at trying to get these times tables kind of firmly stuck in our, our mind. So we're going to be looking at multiples and counting on and back first, okay? So let's go together, we're gonna to count forwards and then we're gonna count backwards. Zero, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, and 90. And now we're going to count backwards. 90, 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27, 18, 9, and 0. Okay, this time I'm going to keep my thumb halfway on the 45 mark here. I'm going to count up, count back, but you're going to do it, not me. Okay, ready, go. Well done, and then we're going to go backwards. Fantastic, okay. Right, so this time round then, we're going to now link it to our times table. So those are counting in multiples of. So now we need to look at our times tables. So I'm going to say the times table fact, and then you guys can say the, the answer to that. So zero times nine is, one times nine is, two times nine, three times nine, four times nine, five times nine, six times nine, seven times nine, eight times nine, nine times nine, and 10 times nine. Okay, now I'm going to do it out of order, all right? So you can still see the answers, so you can still join in, okay? So one times nine, five times nine, six times nine, 10 times nine, nine times nine, seven times nine, eight times nine, four times nine, two times nine, and zero times nine. Good work. Right, this time round, I'm going to be taking some of the multiples off and we're going to try and remember where they are and what the answers are as I shout them out. So I'm gonna put my thumb back on 45, that halfway mark again, okay? 
we're going to take off zero. We're going to take off nine. One times nine is nine. We're going to take off ten times nine is ninety. And we'll see if we can do that. Ready? One times nine. Five times nine. Seven times nine. Ten times nine. Nine times nine. One times nine. Zero times nine. Four times nine. Three times nine. Okay, good job. I think we can do a few more. Now I'm going to take off two times nine is 18. I'm going to take this halfway mark off because I'm going to keep my thumb there. So you've got five times nine is 45. And we'll take off nine times nine is 81. Okay, I'm going to go again. Ready? Zero times nine. Five times nine. Ten times nine. Nine times nine. Six times nine. Four times nine. Two times nine. One times nine. Eight times nine. Good work again. Right, let's see if we can take off a few more because you're getting really good at this. It's going to take off three times nine. I think we'll take off four times nine as well. Give this a go. Okay, ready? Zero times nine. Five times nine. Four times nine. Six times nine. Nine times nine. Ten times nine. Ooh, two times nine, four times nine, three times nine, five times nine. Brilliant. Right, we're going to go for all of them this time. Okay, you up for the challenge? Right, let's go. One times nine, five times nine, four times nine. Six times nine, ten times nine, eight times nine, nine times nine, three times nine, six times nine, nine times nine, six times nine, seven times nine. Great work, guys. Here are your chili challenges linked to the session today then. So, chili ones, can you have a look at working out those calculations? Try and use the counting stick so that you know it's in your brain. So we should be trying to know the facts rather than count on in multiples of. Chili twos, can you have a go at those calculations with the missing numbers at the beginning? Chili threes, can you have a go at 11 times nine and 12 times nine? Because we should know all our facts up to 12 times 12. So... Once you've done those, can you then work out what 15 times 9 would be using the facts that you already know? Pause the video, work it out, and then we'll check them together. How did you get on, guys? Here are the answers to chilli 1. Here are the answers to chilli 2. Here are the answers to chilli 3. And then... Hopefully you had a go at the extra challenge. Did you realise that if you did 10 times 9 and 5 times 9 and then added them together, you get the answer of 135. Great work today. Hopefully the video has helped you with your times 9s today. If you found them a little bit tricky, you could always go back to the beginning of the video and have another go. It's really important that we learn our times tables because it helps us in quite a lot of the areas of maths. If you know your multiplications, you know your division. And if you know your multiplication in your division, it really helps you with your fractions. So keep up the practice, keep up the hard work and well done.